first two days of the NFL Draft are in the books. It's time to turn our attention to day three and some of the players that are still out there for teams to draft. Some of the bigger names. I'm surprised quarterback Kirk Cousins, with all the quarterbacks that have gone so far, he's still on the board. Yeah, coming into the season, I thought he was a fourth round type of talent, so it's not a surprise that he's still sitting there. Like the physical tools aren't overly impressive, but he has the work ethic, he has the intangibles, he's really strong mentally. I, I think there's a lot of reasons to be excited. You look last year, Andy Dalton was graded as a fourth rounder prior to the combine by a lot of teams, so it's not a terrible surprise to see him sitting there. I do think he still will be a very good NFL player. I guess if you still need a quarterback, you can wait this long and still get Cousins, you're in pretty good shape. At wide receiver, Marvin McNutt, you like him? He's a big physical Z receiver, and I think he's another one that's flying under the radar a little bit. The team that lands him in the fourth, fifth round, I think they're going to get a tremendous value. Omar Bolden, the cornerback from Arizona State, we know he was injured, but it seemed like he was coming on late in the process. How soon do you think he's going to go on day three? I think the injury is a big, uh, big issue. The knee injury is the only thing that really weighs in your, on your mind, to the overall durability. But uh, he could come off very soon as well. I think he's got uh, starter type of traits and could be a very good NFL player. Seemed like in day two, as we were going back, going down, teams looking for tackles. I think fans were seeing Bobby Massey on the top of a lot of lists. Never got taken. Why is that and how soon do you think it'll go? Well, there were a lot of concerns about the mental aspect, uh, the intelligence, and just how well he was going to be able to pick up an offense. I think if there's anything that really hurt him, that's what pushed him down draft boards. I still think he could be a starter at right tackle. He's got a good enough feet to even play on the left side. At, at worst, he's a swing backup. So I think he's, he has value. I think he's another one that's going to come off of the board very quickly. Give me one more defensive player that people should keep an eye on. I really like Kyle Wilber from Wake Forest. I think he's got a developmental label. He's not uh, as physical as he could be. He's more of a finesse player. But uh, we've seen similar players come out of that program in past years. And I think he's going to be another one that's very good. A lot of value found in the fifth, sixth, and seventh round. These are just five names. Keep checking back to ProFootballWeekly.com for more draft coverage.